All right, welcome to Walk Corner with Guido. We are on Corellia. This is a T34 American Tier 8 Premium Tank replay with comments. We are on the assault, on the attack. First, a couple things on the map meta for this. Obviously, you will spawn in two different spots. You're going to spawn down here in the south and over here on the east side. And it splits up the team. So a couple things to think about. If you're in a platoon, you may want to try to get back together. If you're in two very slow tanks, I would avoid doing that. You're probably just going to have to accept being split. If you are in a TD, avoid the temptation to go back up here onto this hill. While this hill can be very important, there are shots to the north and shots to the south. And you do want to stop anyone from coming up the middle. Somebody will do that. You don't have to be that person. Where you want to go is to the south hill or the north hill, depending on where you're spawned. If you're in a fast tank, like I said, with a platoon, maybe think about cross court back over so you can get together and use that dynamic ability to have two tanks or three, if that's how many you had. But I guarantee you that somebody will go up there. You don't have to be that guy because it can be quite a useless spot, depending on how it goes. And this is the critical area of these two hills. We'll go ahead and move here. What I'm going to do is give you good information on how to attack with a heavy through the south hill. Obviously I'm not on the north hill so we won't talk about that too much other than to kind of see what is going on over there. But I'm going to crawl up this hill. It's going to take a while. Taking a look at what's happening. We've got a KB-4, two T-29s and an IS, a Pershing pushing into the middle. Now we'll stop it here and look what's going on. We've got a scout going up on that hill and a T-43. See how I mentioned that hey somebody will go there. You don't have to be that guy. These two guys are that guy. They're going to go camp on that hill. Again, it can be important, but you don't need to be there. We've got a WZ scout in the middle and a Pershing working the middle as well. The thing about the Pershing and that WZ is in that M4190 in the middle is they can pick off any of their scouts trying to tuck up underneath here and light guys up on the hill. Now, there's no arty in this game, so that makes that hill even a little less important because you're not really worried about scouts coming up and over the hill and killing our arty. You would like to avoid them getting up on that hill and flanking us, coming around and lighting us. But it looks like we've got pretty good peanut butter spread coverage right here. And we're going to push up onto the north. Both the north hill and the south hill have good opportunities to push into the enemy. You're going to see the south hill worked with me here. The north hill will have to be on a different video because I'm nowhere near to even talk about it. But they both have great ways to get down into the enemy's faces. Uh, me and the KB4 get stuck on each other there. The T-34 is a nice tank for this. It's got a lot of depression, so I can kind of come up on these little rises here and get some shots. The 34-100 is looking at us. And what you're going to see here is these two guys are going to decide that that is not a great place to be, and they're going to boogie on out of there. They know I'm coming. There goes the 1390. I'll lose track of him. I don't know if he stopped or not. I thought I might get a shot on 34-100, but he backs off. There's no arty, so that move could be dangerous with arty. I may actually eat an arty shot there, just kind of droning in. But now I think, hey, you know what? I believe those two guys are just running. So I'm going to head down here aggressively. I'm going to tuck up behind this big rock. I actually stopped thinking I'm going to get a shot. I'm going to get pinged off a couple times. I'm lucky I didn't actually take some damage right there. And I noticed the 34-100 down in the pit. I'm actually looking this way because I don't know where that 1390 went right now. Last known was behind me. I'm pretty sure he's not there now. So now we get to this spot right here. This rock is protecting me from their campers, which will be hanging out up behind these rocks here. So that's why I'm tucked up here. If there's already, it will also, if you tuck up next to it, protect you from already. But as you come around the corner, there's going to be a little bush here that you can use to kind of see what's going on. I'll show you what I'm doing with my view and the tank itself. I'm going to look through here. Okay, there's a couple guys. Take a shot. Nope. Bounced it and did not get any damage there. Now I know the 34100 is probably down below me. There he is. He's lit. We've got the Pershing has moved up undamaged. So now we've kind of got this 34100 sandwiched and that 1390 is dead. Probably took some shots from the hill. Looks like the Jag Jag Tiger 8.8 .8 has crawled up to the hill. So he's adding his DPM to that act in the middle and I sure would like to have that 4190 out doing some kind of active scouting instead of sitting right there but that's what we've got we'll have to deal with it I've got a Ferdinand and an AT7 and obviously there's also a T32 back there somewhere 
get this started again. Uh, so I'm going to decide here. I'm going to use this rock right in front of me to kind of screen me a little bit from this AT7 and Ferdinand. And I want to come around this corner and take out this 34-100. So I'm going to auto-aim and shoot. And then I'm going to go right at him. All right, so what I do here now is I want to ram this 34-100. I'm on a reload. There's no reason just to sit there. He doesn't. His turret's not really pointing at me, so he's having some trouble getting his turret pointed. I'm going to come in here and get some damage out of the ram as much as I can. He's kind of smart trying to get out of the way. So I get 207, looks like. I'll take that. And one more shot. And then I'm helped by the Pershing right there. So I got a few extra points of damage in there. It didn't really hurt me. Obviously, if he was a TOG or a OHO or something like that, I wouldn't want to go raging in there and ram him. But him being a smaller medium, I can get some free damage in there. And now I'm going to work my way up through this ravine. I've got a KB-4 pressing in behind me. These guys kind of camping out in the back. A damaged IS trying to avoid getting killed. And I know I've got a Ferdinand, an AT-7, a T-32, and it looks like here an 8.8 .8 with a T-49 here. So I've got quite a cluster of guys here. I've got a cluster of guys here. Looking at the northern hill, they've taken some deaths, a couple of kills there, but they basically own that hill. You'll notice the T-95 is crawling ever so slowly forward, and that's pretty good gun support. Now that he's up on that hill, he can sweep this whole area with that big gun and do some good work. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward up this ravine with this really nice way to do it because it's very protected. And the AT-7 takes some hits. It's going to take a while because it's a T-34 and it doesn't do anything very fast. But I am reloaded, and you'll notice that right here is a great spot for the American tanks with their strong turrets and lots of depression because that rise right there can be a real bear if you don't have any. And I noticed the Ferdinand kind of late, so I'm looking this way. And oops, there he is. I get lucky by bouncing that. I'm going to try to hit him, and I get off his roof there. Kind of a lucky shot, but I made it happen, and I'm going to keep on trying to work this Ferdinand. He's got to go. He's staring everybody down. I'm going to come up here and take a hit from him, unfortunately. It wasn't reloaded. All right, so one thing I did that I didn't like is I came forward before I was reloaded, and I'm really just kind of baiting a shot. I didn't really need to do that because I wasn't reloaded and ready to shoot. He ends up penning me, and now I'm going to try to take my shot. I hit him right in the gun mantlet, so that was terrible, which is where I was aiming. So, I mean, I hit where I was aiming, unfortunately. Got one more gold round here. I'm going to try to work on him. Again, I'm up here a little early. I don't have the reload yet and I shoot him more or less right in the gun mantlet again like a bozo and do not get any pen on him now t32 the 122s the panther 8.8 we've still got a pretty good cluster of guys camping around in the back here let's talk a little meta on this from their side this was a terrible deployment you have got to on defense push up to the north and south hill in this area here and this area here and you've got to keep the enemy from coming off the hills, which is exactly what's happening to them. They have zero map control. They now own this little tiny section of map, and they are in a complete crossfire, and they are really in a hurting status right now. So if you are defending this map, if you think camping back here near the cap is the way to win, you are dead wrong. That is the completely wrong way to do it. And you're going to see what happens when you do that right here. KB4 is kind of moving up and helping me. Got a couple of T29s sitting over there, the 122S. I'm a little bit concerned, I'll show you what I'm doing here with my turret. I'm a little bit concerned about the 8.8 .8 being able to see me, but fortunately that little rise there is protecting me. I'll just kind of watch it as I go. I'm also double checking back forward to see if anyone's coming around the corner. What I want to do is get up around this rock and start working on these guys that are hiding around it. They've got full on four guys hanging back here, and actually there's five because you're going to find that the GF comes around. Get a shot on him, and I actually get hit by him, so that hurt a little bit. 8.8 .8 is thinking about taking a shot, tuck up against that rock and try to stop him from hitting me. Now I want to get in here and try to get this AT-7. I'm waiting for the reload. There's the GF. He showed up. And I'll get a little shot into the T-32. I'm fortunate to bounce the 8.8. .8. Here comes the 32. He's thinking he wants to pop out here and take me on. But he is being stopped by some guys coming back there. Now my T-29 buddy's gone. I'm going to get in here, show you what I'm looking at. And I bounce off the top hole of the 32 with a lot of angle. So, I mean, I can't be surprised that that happened. It was a terrible shot. That KB4 has got his side armor to them. Just pause here. That's just a terrible positioning for him. I can't really get to it. But you can see that he's given that front sprocket right there. And he's just taking hits in the side armor. 
Not a good idea. I'll kill that AT7 by going after that top cupola, which is a big weak spot, and that close, even with the kind of derpy gun the 34 has, it's pretty easy to hit. You can see I take that guy out pretty fast. Show you what I'm looking at here. All right, so now I've got to start working on this GF. I know he's going to be a problem. He's really kind of camping here. I'm going to see if I can get a shot. Nope. That was actually bad on me. I sort of backed up and then went forward. I should have just pulled out and taken the shot. I ended up losing some damage here to this guy. That's kind of a bummer. Because now I've got to worry about what's going on with the GF. I light him on fire. That works for me. But I'm still worried about the GF and I'm going to eat. Nope. Good deal. T32 went after the KV4. There goes the 122S, but I did take a hit from the GF. Now I'm a one shot, so I've got to be more careful what I'm doing here. Turn off my mini map. Couple guys still up there. They're not really, they haven't lost the game, but they're still in kind of a bad status. It's taken us quite a bit of hit points to knock them down. But they've got three here and a couple up here. We've still got these guys camping. Man, I really wish that T43 would have got off that hill. Had he been up here doing a little bit more maneuver, we might be in a better shape. But that 95 is probably whacking people, or at least keeping them honest up there if he's not hitting them. He's not, not really very good. I have to look what damage he did at the end. And now I've got to deal with this 4190. I get a shot on him, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Because that first shot was pretty lucky. 12T is doing his job being annoying. This 32 is a problem. But I'm going to look at this guy and get a shot in here and miss. And that's a bummer. But I don't want to walk out. At 205 hit points, either one of them hits me, I'm done. I really don't want to let him do that. There's him, and maybe get a shot here. There we go, but I don't kill him. Move him at 1%. And there goes the 32. So he got killed by the A44. So looking good. Come up here, try to get rid of this GF if we can. I miss, goes in the dirt, but he is killed by the A44. And we're down to the last three. The 5120 is taking on the Tiger 1 and the 95, and we got a KB4 and an IS to deal with over here. Looking for a shot there. So I got two choices right now. I can go this way, cut right, or I can cut left. The problem with cutting right is I get out in the open. And if that 5120 sees me and I get lit, then I'm in probably a bad, bad shape. So I'm just going to come up here a little bit. So I'd like to do is take out this KB4. So I see him. Let it zoom a bit, shoot, and bounce. Oh, actually, I missed completely. I back up. I don't want him to hit me. Let's see. Absolutely has to. He's uh, looks like he's shooting HE because he just did 20 to my friend there. Since he shot, I know I can pop out here, zoom in. I'm just going to let it zoom, 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 and take that shot. Ends up killing him. So now I've got the IS to deal with. Again, I don't cross that middle area because I don't know what the 120 is looking at. More than likely, he's busy with the T95. But the IS just killed the A44. So let's go up this way. More hold down ability for me as I come up over these little ridges. And it looks like the IS is actually trying to move up into the back. The T22 or T29 is trying to get on the cap. Now it struck me right here because I am on the mission, the personal mission for 4,000 damage and a cap. I think I need 60% of it. I thought about just driving right onto the cap, but I didn't want to let the give the IS the opportunity to come up over that hill and pop me. So I'm just going to play it straight up. Plus I'm not quite at the 4,000. So I thought to myself, well, maybe I can get to this IS, farm the damage. There's a little less to farm. Get myself to 4,000, then jump on the cap. Pretty good hold down spot right here if that IS keeps coming on up. I can just top over this little hill right here. I'm protected because from the 5120, unless he's kind of over in this angle, more than likely I won't get hit by him even if I get lit. And now I just bring my gun forward and I'll show you what I'm looking at because this is a bit of a lucky deal right here. Looking forward. Oh, there he is. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. And I bounce. Or I kill. And it looks, I thought I had, he had bounced off me, but based on my hit log, he actually missed. So I just got lucky. He snapped a shot off, missed, and I happened to hit. So now I'm thinking maybe I can get down to the cap and get this, get this mission done. But if you look at it, it's already at 61%, so I'm not going to get what I need out of T29. So I'm just going to accept that fact. See me come in here and just wait. Here comes Mr. 5120. Is he coming? Oh, I think he is. Yeah, there he is. Whack. Done. And there you have it. 4,000 damage. I push from the south hill up through the ravine and then clean up all their campers in the back, and it ends up being a win. And that is it.